Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, as you can see, we're going to be playing with, uh, with header pipes. Now, what I'm holding in my hand here is a set of headers off of an E model, um, ZX9R, as you can see, 01 ZX9R written on it in white paint pen by the person I got them from. And as you can see, these have got the cross, the cross pipes uh, between each one. Whereas this here, is the original exhaust that came off the bike when we uh, when we disassembled it and it doesn't now uh, one of the major differences aside from the fact that it's got these crossover pipes is that the diameter of the pipe um, on the e models is much greater than that on the c model now what we'll do we'll give it a quick measure so obviously this is the outside diameter that i'm going to be measuring here and not the inside diameter, uh, 31.85 and 34.85. So as you can see, three mil difference. Now, um, I believe that the wall thickness is exactly the same between this pipe and that pipe. So the internal diameter is also three mil wider on the E model than it is on the C model. So uh, as I'm sure you can appreciate, making these fit onto the bike will give the bike a much needed performance boost well not much needed but a, a you know a decent a decent lift in performance the difference is that these are not a direct bolt on to the cylinder head for the zx9r like obviously the c model ones are um and that's because the these ports here do not match the ports on the head these are too wide so what we're going to do is give these a quick measure as well and they are 38.4 and on these ones 35.14 now um, these are fit incredibly loose in the cylinder head or on the C model anyway so if I lift this up and we take the internal measurement 37.34 so you, you can appreciate there's quite a tolerance between this and that anyway um, so if these are 37 point let's call it 37.2 and these are 38.2 then i need to remove one mil total of material so half a mil each side uh, and they should fit so what i'm going to do in order to achieve that is i'm going to use a die grinder a combination of a die grinder with a good uh, with a good square tip on and just grind all the way around and also use a file to dress it up. Um, but yeah, it should be pretty straightforward, it shouldn't be too difficult, and then what I can do is, as I'm doing it, just measure it, and then test fit. Shouldn't, shouldn't be too difficult whatsoever. Now, the other thing I will say is it doesn't really matter about the, uh, the, the this, this point on the pipes anyway, because this is the ceiling face, this is the ceiling ring, and that sits over there like so, and seals that flange against the cylinder head. So we've got pretty much um free reign to do with what we want and the thickness of this wall is quite 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 a bit actually they're four mil thick um there's like a bolt it, it bulbs out slightly um just on the inside so we've got plenty of, to play with four mil thick and i only need to remove half a mil on each uh around you know around the circumference anyway so um to achieve the overall one mil reduction so yeah let's uh Let's get stuck into that then. What uh, what I need to do is get my compressor out, get it wired up, um, get it plumbed in, and then we can uh, we can have a go at removing some material. There's all the ceiling rings off. Right, if we come over here and look at the cylinder head with one of the ceiling rings on, you can actually see how much material we actually need to remove from the head. It's very, very, uh, not from the head, sorry, from the exhaust pipe. Um, it's very, very 
a very, very small amount that we actually need to uh, remove. And this die grinder will make very, very light work of that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go fairly easy with the die grinder and um, simply just go all the way around, make a few passes, and then it'll be a case of testing as I do it. Um, so, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it nice and slow. I'm not gonna go crazy um, because I don't wanna um, destroy it. Uh, and you know, it, it's gonna be a bit of trial and error, a bit, little bit of, removal fit removal you know and um measuring it as i go um because obviously if i take too much off i can't put it back on but we have got quite a lot to play with like i said now uh, when i was doing research for this one thing i did find was there are people that have actually removed the material from the cylinder head instead which is obviously an option and probably a lot quicker because that's just an alloy alloy head but obviously you only get one shot at that and if you mess it up um you need a new cylinder head um, at least if I do balls this up, all I need to do is just get a new set of pipes. It's uh, not the end of the world. So, what we're going to do now is obviously uh, make a start. Okay, so what I've done, I've um, taken loads of material off with the, with the, I say loads, you know, enough material off with the die grind. I'm just dressing it off with a file now. And the original diameter, 38.6, and we're now at 37.7. Probably, it's probably not 100% round. Yeah, about 37.7, 37.8. So we're taking a fair bit off. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave that one for a minute, I'm going to move on to the others and then what we can do is we can try and test fit it onto the cylinder head and see how much play we've actually got. Like I said before, there was quite a bit uh, of quite a bit of a tolerance. Yeah, quite a bit of a tolerance, so... Yeah, I reckon we'll, um, I reckon we'll be fairly close with that but and it may need a little bit more coming off um but yeah we'll uh, we'll see how we go so what i'm going to do move on to the next one there we go as you can see we brought it down to just under 30 uh, 37 millimeters which should allow it to fit the cylinder head so Let's have a little, a little, a little test fit. Got these out of the way. They're just a bit of pain.
that is all four through to the center of the head. So obviously in here we will have new ceiling rings. So I will get C1 ceiling rings, not E model, um, because these I'll pull this back off. These E model ones now are quite loose, but the C model ones will fit straight on. Uh, as you can see, you know it's it's quite scruffy and scrappy, but it's done the job, done the job perfectly, and there's still plenty of plenty of meat left it, you know it's not affected the integrity of of the pipes whatsoever so that is one job completely done uh, and it's pretty straightforward obviously if you're going to do this and you have a die grinder it makes it makes light work you know that took me probably 40 minutes altogether to do all four so call it 10 minutes on each one uh, and it was just a case of you know grinding checking with the uh checking with the, uh, the vernier just to basically I just I just ground them down until there was 37 mil diameter in each in each direction and uh, yeah it's it, you know it fits perfectly so I'm well happy with that so we're moving one step forward so um, this exhaust uh, is, is obviously surplus to requirement so I'm, I may just I don't know sell it or something I've got no real use for it it's um, it's in fairly decent nick it's not a uh, it's, you know, it's not badly damaged or anything really, not really. Um, and I do have the link pipe and can for an E1 model as well, which is going to go on when we reassemble the bike. Now, because I'm um, fitting, you know, freer flow and exhaust, what I'm going to do is when it comes to rebuilding the carburetors, I will be fitting 0.5 mil uh, washers and underneath each of the needles. Now I've got a bag of 100 here. I obviously only need four. Um, but you can't buy four, they came, it was like 70p I think for a hundred. Um, so I've got those to do as well and obviously I'll um, get round to getting the carburetors put back together. But for now, yeah, we're, uh, we're making progress and that is the exhaust element done. Uh, and I'm happy that they, uh, they fit, the, uh, fit the cylinder head nice. So obviously all of this has got to go off and be um, vapor blasted along with the engine cases and all that good stuff. Um, I do need to check this for flatness. But we'll do that at a later, uh, later date. Uh, anyway, guys, um, you know, not a not a massively interesting video because I wasn't just going to have you there watching me just grinding away, making loads of noise. Um, it would have been fairly boring. Um, but yeah, we've um, we've achieved what we set out to achieve in this uh, in this episode. So I am happy. So yeah, guys, thanks for uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you all again for the next episode of Project Shinobi. You guys take care now. Bye bye. <laughs>